Elaine here and welcome to my kitchen. Well today I'm going to be making some good old southern style fried cream style corn and um, you've, there's a lot of different ways to do this but this is just particularly the way that I like to do it and I'll show you about that in a minute but before I do I just wanted to uh, tell you some of the things that we've been doing. We've been doing a lot of painting and um, repair work and remodeling around the house um, over the last couple of weeks since my uh, piano students are going to start coming back next week. So we we're trying to get things in shape. And I'll have a little video showing you that at the end of this video. So you can stick around and watch that if you like. And also, my daughter has started a uh, YouTube channel as well. Now, she's a wonderful cook in her own right, but this is a travel channel. This She loves to travel, and she shows some of the places that she's been showing her travels. And the name of her YouTube channel is Unworldly Adventurers. And I will be putting a link to that down in the description on my video. And... Um, on this video so if you want to get a chance and you get time go check it out and if you like it go ahead and subscribe to her channel and give her a like I'm sure she'd appreciate that okay so we're gonna go ahead and get started with our corn so I will be right back and show you what we're gonna need okay to make this cream style corn um, you're gonna need five pieces of bacon and this is going to be cut up and cooked crisp and you're going to need, this was seven ears of corn. This was Silver Queen corn. Um, you can use any kind of fresh corn that you like. You can use yellow corn or the speckled corn, whatever you like. Uh, we just happen to have some uh, Silver Queen, so that's what I'm using. This was seven ears, and it came out to about three cups. So um, this is what I'm going to be using today. And you need pepper, and you need salt, and you're going to need a little butter, and that is it. So I'm going to move you over to the stove, and we're going to get started. Okay, I have my bacon cut up in my pan, my skillet here, and as it turned out, this was thick sliced bacon, so I'm only going to use four slices instead of five. I think that's going to be plenty, but if you're using regular slice or thin sliced bacon, you'll want to go ahead and use the five for for this amount of corn. And I also neglected to tell you a couple of the ingredients too. I don't think I mentioned the heavy cream, but um, if I didn't, I apologize, but uh, it will have some heavy cream. And it will also have two tablespoons of flour. And we'll add that um, in a little bit after the corn cooks. So we're gonna go ahead and get this bacon cooked up. I'm gonna cook this till it's crisp. And um, then we're gonna um, then uh, we're gonna do some more stuff to it here. But um, yeah, that's gonna. I think that's gonna be plenty. I don't think I needed any more than that. So so we're only gonna use four pieces instead of uh, the five I started with. Okay. Well, when this gets brown and I'm ready to go on to the next step, I will be back with you. Okay, you can see that my bacon has gotten brown and crispy, and that's just the way we wanted it. I did pour off some of the grease because it made a lot more grease than I really wanted. So I poured off some of that bacon grease, and I'm going to save it for another time. To use, I like to use it for seasoning things. Okay, so we have our bacon, and now I'm going to grab our corn, and I'm going to pour the corn in. And we're just going to fry this corn until it gets done. We've got a few silks in there, but that's okay. We can pull them out, and if we don't, that's fine. Ain't gonna, it's not one of her thing. So we're just going to fry this corn up until it gets done. This is really pretty easy to make. The hardest part is this corn, you have to shuck it and then you cut it off the cob. And you want to be sure to take your knife and scrape kind of the sweet milk out of the corn and put that in there with it. You want to have all that sweet from the corn that you can, you can get into it. So we're just going to keep cooking this until that corn um, gets done. Okay. 
and you don't necessarily have to use the heavy cream because you're going to add flour to this in a few minutes when that corn gets done. But if you want it a little creamier, use the heavy cream. If you would uh, want it just a little bit on the lighter side, you can use half and half or you can use mi whole milk if you want to do that. That's up to you really. Um, but I like to use the heavy cream. So that's what we're going to do today. That's what my husband really enjoyed. Okay, now that's cooking. So I am going to grab my salt shaker. And I'm going to just salt it a little bit. I don't want to salt it too much because that bacon contains a lot of salt. And so we don't want to over salt this. And then also I'm going to add a little pepper to it. Not much, but just, you know, enough, enough to taste a little bit. We do, like, we do like pepper added into things. If you don't like pepper, don't add it. Not a big deal. So it'll take the corn maybe, oh, I don't know, maybe five to ten minutes or so to cook. So we're just going to kind of keep stirring it around. You don't, when you want to keep moving it, you want to keep it moving because you don't want to let that corn scorch. You just want to get it done, but do not scorch it or you'll ruin the whole dish. So we don't want to do that. And I will be listing these ingredients below for you so you can um, make this yourself if you like. And tonight with this, we're going to have some pulled pork that I took out of my freezer. I cooked a while back. And I made some of my homemade barbecue sauce. Let me show you that. with it and we're going to make some uh, pulled pork sandwiches and have this uh, cream corn on the side, fried corn. So I think that'll be good. I'll also put a link um, to my barbecue sauce recipe for you um, in, the, uh, in the description below. Um, it's with my uh, barbecued rib recipe that I did. So you can certainly watch that and learn how to make this homemade barbecue sauce if you like. Or you could use bottle. It doesn't matter. Whatever you like is what you need to use. Okay, well this is cooking. So when this is done cooking, I will be back to show you what we're going to do next. Okay, our corn is done. And I'm going to bring in just a little closer. There we go. And um, so what I'm going to do now, stir that a little bit. I don't want that to scorch at all. I'm going to add maybe a tablespoon or so of butter to this. And we're going to stir that around, let that melt. Okay, and then I'm going to add two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. And we're just going to stir that around in it too. And I want to let that flour cook for a little bit, so we're going to let this continue to cook for just a few minutes before I put the cream in it. Just enough to cook that butter, uh, that flour, because if you don't cook your flour your, um, very well, your, whatever you're using, your gravy or whatever you're going to make with it, can get a pasty taste or a floury taste, just not being good. So we're going to go ahead and cook this flour up. My, you see it's starting to brown a little bit. Where I move that into the where I put that in with the corn. And let's see, we're just going to keep stirring that around. It doesn't take the flour too long to cook. Maybe, I don't know. I just kind of eyeball it and when that flour, when I see it browning well, it usually takes two to three minutes, maybe five at the most. And when I see it browning well, then I'll add my liquid to it. Let's go ahead and get our heavy cream added. I'm going to start with this one because it's almost empty and I want to use it up. And you can see that is nowhere near enough. So I'm going to add this part of this other one in. So we're going to put the cream in this corn. And I don't want it to be super duper thick. So what I'm going to do is grab a little water and put it in there. 
you don't want to add too much cream. So we're going to put just a little bit of water in there along with it. Just, I always just kind of eyeball this and when it looks right to me. Okay, and there we, there we go. So I'm just going to let this cook a little bit and when this is done I will be right back with you and show you what it looks like. Okay, our corn is done and I have put it in a bowl so you could see what it looks like and there it is. And you can see the consistency of this and it is very, very good. Um, this is uh, our southern fried cream, I'll get it in a minute, southern fried cream style corn with bacon because it's got bacon bits in it too, bacon pieces. So I'm going to take a little taste of this, get a different spoon, and we'll see how it turned out. Still very hot. Mm. If you like corn, you're going to love this recipe, so uh, definitely do give this a try. And um, also, um, go ahead and check out my daughter's channel. I'm going to put that link below, if, uh, especially if you like to travel or like to go around to different, and see different things. So, um, okay, well, if you enjoyed this video, um, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. And um, hang around for a few minutes and check out what we did to the house. I'd, I'd kind of like you to see that if, um, if you'd like to. And um, Okay, so you all have a great evening and thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you next time. Okay, so here is what we have been doing over the past few weeks. I just wanted to show you. This is my music studio. Uh, this is where I teach my piano students. And I probably have about 25, 26 students at the moment um, that will be coming back in a couple of weeks. So I wanted to get this room straightened out before we did. So walk over here and show you a little bit. Now this bottom wall here and the chair rail, this was all one color for a while. All this was like this color that we have up here and the whole thing was one color so I decided to paint the chair rail and then paint the bottom section a contrasting color and I think it turned out pretty nice but um, anyway and there's the resident cat. That's Jasper. <laughs> and, uh, he's taking his afternoon snooze here on the, on the couch, and that's fine. He can do that if he wants to. But um, over here are my, I have, a, I have a keyboard that I use in my piano lessons sometimes. And I have my piano over here, my grand piano, that uh, mostly that's what I teach on. Um, sometimes I do li listening activities and I'll play one piano and they can play the other one and things like you know, little activities and things but uh, anyway so that's what we did in here oh and over here I don't know if you can see that there we go the lighting is just picked up right here in this spot there was a bad hole in the wall it was where there used to be a glider rocker and I had a beagle <laughs> that was very active and she jumped up to look at something outside, hit the wall and knocked a huge hole in it. So my husband fixed that and you can see he did a pretty good job. So it looks really good. I've got to do just a little touch up paint on that yet and um, that's going to be good to go. So I'll bring you in here and I'll show you what else I did, what I've been doing. That's the dog's toy box there in the floor on the left. Just ignore that. <laughs> that is my activity shelf. i got to go through and organize that. Yeah, that's where I keep my um, activities and things that I do with my students. Okay, so in here, this is my bathroom. And what we have done in here is I have painted it. I did put this... Put this blue color in here and I think this is really a nice color and um, looks good in here and of course I think there was another video where we had just replaced the floor and this vanity 
here and uh, so that video I think even has some before and after pictures before we started that project but then my husband finally trimmed all this out and he put this uh, put the baseboard here at the bottom so that's another little activity that we have been doing and right here actually it was right down here there was a huge 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 hole again involving a beagle that we used to have and she found a little loose piece of uh, drywall and she started pulling it and she pulled in this huge huge hole and uh, okay and there's my other baby she's in her bed <laughs> so that's Jada all right well I'm gonna come around through here and there's you can see that color really well going into um, going into uh, my laundry room and kind of my uh, it's kind of a uh, mixing area where I mix do things when I'm not doing videos I kind of do my mixing in there but I'm not going to show you that too much my husband's got that cluttered up pretty bad <laughs> okay and there is my kitchen which you've all seen that a number of times and in here when you hear my husband that's where he's sitting that's his chair but this is my den and um, this is where he likes to sit and watch TV he'll put he'll put the TV in the headphones and that when I'm doing videos since the island is right there <laughs> and um, so you can see it's only maybe six feet away if that <laughs> so anyway um, that's uh, that's where he sits so we hear him a lot of times making noise in the background it's because his chair is right there by the by where I record so he does get in the video sometimes all right and that's my dining room we of course did the same did the same paint job in here that we did in there and uh, came out pretty good so all right well, I do thank you for watching, and I hope that you enjoyed this little tour of my piano studio and just seeing some of the work that we've been doing. So, y'all have a great day, and if you enjoyed my videos, um, please give me a like and a subscribe to my channel, and um, leave a comment down below, and uh, let me know what you think about our redecorating here that we've done. So, Okay, y'all have a great one, and again, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.